My 2011 release through Freelance Academy Press is Captain of the Guild. This is a reproduction, a transcription, translation, and my own analysis of Peter Faulkner's late 15th century fight book. Faulkner was a longtime member of the famous Marx Bruder Fencing Guild, which was sanctioned by the Emperor in the late 15th century. More importantly, he serves as its captain for some years. The book treats uh, a diverse panoply of weapons, including the longsword, the messer, poleaxe, dagger, um, fighting on horseback, as well as the exotic dueling shields that we see in a number of German fight books. Faulkner is providing something really unique for an illustrated work of the 15th century. He's glossing, which is to say commenting, on Lichtenauer's verse with the longsword in pictures. And Lichtenauer's verse forms the caption for most of those pictures of longsword techniques that we see. He is taking Lichtenauer's verse and he's tampering with it a little bit. Among the things that was really fascinating about Faulkner was looking at his treatment of the Messer, which derives in the main from the uh, somewhat earlier work of Johannes Lechuschner. But what Faulkner is doing with the Messer is really intriguing because he's taking some of the techniques that Lechuschner is speaking about with the Messer and then bringing these back and interpreting them into the longsword. So amongst the uh, bread and butter techniques such as the Zornhau or Krumpau or Zverschau that we are familiar with in our travels of the Lichtenauer tradition in its early form, we see techniques for the Messer such as the Sun Pointer, a rather uh, humiliating looking grapple that's taken from the Messer techniques and then applied back into the longsword. Faulkner is sort of the, the missing link for us in many ways as far as his teachings on the axe goes. He's showing some things that answer questions left open by masters such as Paulus Kahl or uh, Hans Talhofer, for instance. He has an absolutely magnificent section on dagger fighting, a rare combination where we have illustrations of dagger combat along with very substantial instructive text. Faulkner has a small but a very instructive six technique section on fighting with the staff, which of course is the root of all other staff weapons fighting, such as the spear or the pole axe or anything of similar configuration. I've been blessed with having some very dedicated readers who are fellow enthusiasts of the Lichtenauer School of Medieval Combat. I hope that very much that they enjoy this new title as much as I've enjoyed being able to have access to it and being able to write these commentaries and analyses that I've done in this book. I hope that all that do read it get as much use out of it as my students and I have, for this is truly a delightful source and one of great utility to modern students of the art of late medieval German combat.